Why, hello everybody, welcome back to a little bit more Kingdom Come. Woo, I mean, <laughs> oh, we're back here in Sasau, looking at the nice river, and of course, you know, we gotta be up somewhere, and our horse is up there again. But anyways, yeah, so we're out here doing Yonka's uh, Woman's Lot quest, and um, let's continue on and see what else Yonka wants from us. But, uh, <laughs> you know how this always goes, there's always a twist. Hey, you get down from there. Oh, you he doesn't want to come down now. Devil horse? Apparently because you can't get here. Bull, you can get anywhere you want. What happened to your hunker? Nothing good, I'm sorry to say. She was locked up by the papal inquisitor Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshoff. Bishop Yaroslav? Yaroslav of Beneshoff. Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshoff. Want... To Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshoff. It seems he somehow caught wind of this preaching of hers. He's accused her of spreading heresy and had her placed under arrest. Jesus Christ. What's going to happen to her? I don't know, Henry. It all depends on the Inquisitor and how he decides. The accusations brought against Johanka are very serious. Hmm. Well, you can try talking to Bishop Yaroslav. Bishop Yaroslav? Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshoff. Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshoff. He can tell you more. As a servant of the royal headman, your name ought to carry some weight with him. But watch your step. This matter is entirely in the hands of church law, so you mustn't overestimate your lay authority here. Overestimate my authority? Don't they know who I am? Hey, clear off. No one's allowed to talk to your hunker. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. Bishop Yaroslav. Hey, 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 hey. Don't even try it. I'm warning you. No one's allowed to talk to your hunker. I'm Henry of Scalith. Ah, I see. All right, sir, you can talk to her. Very good, I'm impressed. Now leave us, please. Certainly, sir. All right. You don't seem like you're leaving. Also, it looks like you're going through the chair a little bit, but all right, whatever. Hey, Yonka, how's it going? What in God's name happened here? I know. It's all in God's hands now. Bishop Yaroslav had me locked up. Bishop Yaroslav. Hey, hey, about that trial, I've already told you. Everything is in the hands of the Blessed Virgin. I will accept with humility the fate she grants me. A sacra. This is going to be a right mess. Oh, that's wonderful. But what's going to happen to you now? There's to be a trial. You'll have to ask the Monsignor about that. I did everything the Virgin Mary asked of me. I'm completely in her hands. I'm kind of scared. I mean, the way she's talking and also the way she looks. I mean, this is like some this is like some Hannibal Lecter kind of stuff. Like, <laughs> if she said she was eating people, I would be like, oh god. What did Bishop Yaroslav ask you about? Hey, 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 hey! I'd say he wasn't too happy about that. Actually, he was really quite pleasant, but I couldn't obey an order like that. The Blessed Virgin led me here. And here is where I belong. I won't run away like a criminal. Well, whatever. You hear that, boys? She won't run away like a criminal. All right, let's go talk to you, my good sir. So, I am... Henry of Scalitz. Henry of Scalitz. Oh, Henry. 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 Henry, Henry of Scalitz. Only as a myth. A dark fable. A horror tale told across the flickering embers of a midnight fire. Wherever hardened warriors and minstrels gather to drink and compete in tales of blood, chill, and terror. What? And now bugger off. That's quite remarkable, considering your age, is it not? Well, you're too kind, Monsignor. I'm just trying to do what's right and what's needed. But you won't succeed here, Archdeacon. You will be stopped. Let's not waste any more time. What is it you want? I'm here about Yahanka, who you had thrown in jail. Why did you have her imprisoned? Because she broke the promise she made to me and persisted in actions that bear the signs of heresy. I must weigh the gravity of her transgressions and investigate these alleged visions of hers. When will you decide, Monsignor? As soon as I am fully informed of the facts. Although it seems the matter is a little more complicated than I first thought. I will call Yohanka and the witnesses, question them, and then pronounce a verdict. And if you decide she's guilty, 
Will you have her burned at the stake? She x my ends and now they won't lay. And she put a spell on her own so they lay double. What? Witchcraft? God have mercy. I swear by the Holy Mother of God, she put a spell on them. Witchcraft will not be tolerated under any circumstances. Wouldn't it be better to burn her right off? And then perhaps I could have those hens of hers in compensation. That won't be possible. It's forbidden by the Inquisition procedure. Oh, oh all right. If I find her guilty of any heresy, she will be punished. But the severity of her punishment will depend on her will to repent and make amends. Do you doubt my judgment? Yes. As I surmised. Very well. You will defend Johanka. Yes. As I surmised. You may speak in her defense if you so wish. You may also bring witnesses. Yes. As I surmised, I will question any such witnesses. And naturally, I shall question your hunker too. I had better get on with it then, sir. Good. Please continue. It occurs to me that maybe this situation with your hunker could be resolved in a different way. Is that so? Pray, enlighten me. I want to defend your hunker in a duel. Excellent. If God is willing, and I win, then your hunker will be cleared. And who do you propose to fight? Me? Alright, my fine friends. I know there's a bunch of you here. How about you guys, uh, join me? Yeah, look what's... Yeah, come on, you guys are gonna enjoy this. The town's unguarded. Hey, don't hit my horse. Come here, lily liver. I'm coming, I'm coming. The monastery's right here. This is where the real riches are at, sons. There's the bishop. The answer to my prayer. Oh shit, he's putting him in a fight. He's throwing down! <laughs> oh, there we go, we're visiting the bishop. Get him! He's he's putting him in a fight! Ow! Don't hit me. Get him, bishop! Get him! <laughs> he's laying down! <laughs> what? I didn't even murder him! <laughs> What? Come on, game. I didn't even kill him. It was a bandit. <laughs> he was a bandit. No, Henry. Solving disputes by such barbaric means is a throwback to ancient pagan times, and the Holy Church will not tolerate it. It is an offense to God to demand that he resolve disputes that it is our duty to resolve. I would like to expedite the matter. The trial will take place in Sassau Church in three days' time at the latest. Come and let me know when you're ready to proceed. In the meantime, I will continue my investigation. Tell me, my son, truthfully, what do you think of this whole affair? Yes. As I surmise. I had better get on with it then, sir. Come on, we gotta go to Sassau. Bring the whole gang. Come on, boys. We got a raiding to do. We gotta pillage a town. Stop hitting my horse. Mother of God, they're here. They've come to slaughter us all. They have. Get them. Mother of God, they're here! They've come to slaughter us all! Seth! Seth! Jesus Christ! Do something, please! There's a. Mother of God! They're here! Get him! They've come to slaughter us all! Get him! Do something, please! This is what Sassau deserves. Good job, we got him. Nice job. What an execution blow. You know who I don't feel bad for? You're all we need right now. No! Yeah, square up. Square up, priesty boy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're either the tankiest priest I've ever seen or... You come with me. Down into the caverns, um, because why not? Hey, look at this, it's a nice little shrine. How about we take you somewhere special? Oh, look who's up. You had a nice little slumber talk? Hey buddy, how's it going? Tell me, we got things to talk about. About the irregularities in these parts. I'm listening. Why did you have your hunker imprisoned? Johanka has succumbed to the deceit of Lucifer, and her heresy has clouded the minds of others. You are living proof of that. But you won't succeed here, Archdemon. You will be stopped. Guards! 
Take this heretic. I'll deal with him shortly. All right, you called me a heretic long enough. You here again? Yeah, I'm here again. You, you just stay here. It's fine. You know what? I'll come back for you when I need you. So, off we go. Heretic Henry on the way. See ya! Woo! Alright. Yeah, you can stay back there and just live your life. Perfectly fine. I'm gonna go and do my thing. Freaking jerk. Witnesses can be summoned for Yohanka's trial. So, I wanted to ask you if you give a testimony. Maybe some learned speech in her defense? Such testimonies could carry a lot of weight. You should try and get as many as you can. I suppose you heard that Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor and is facing charges of heresy. I did, and it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Yes. As I surmise. I appreciate that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. Think about it. But whatever you decide, if Yohanka comes to any harm, you'll have me to answer to. Hmm. Wait, you, wait, you think you could threaten me like that? What the hell is your problem? You know who I am? If anything should happen to her, get the... <coughs> get out of that chair. Damn it! <coughs> yeah. Don't think <coughs> running into a wall will save you. I just wanted to beat him up. Oh, well, time to visit the swordsmith's wife. Um, you know, I'm kind of confused. You got like a new husband. I mean, didn't I just send your swordsmith to actually work at my village instead? Eh, whatever. Eh, jeez, we should be talking about your sins, eh? All right, let's talk. Henry's drunk and ready to do business with you. What have you got against your hunker? No one is interested in what she has to say. All they want is some spectacle. Out with it! She ought to have thought twice before she started. Not that she wasn't warned. Damn it, woman, tell me what you meant by that. That would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. Out with it! All I wanted was to protect the Sasso fork against her poisonous tongue. Damn it, woman. Go! You think you can get away with this? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yoink. You're lucky you're immortal. I think you're immortal too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah why are you immortal? Alright, priestie boy. Let's go have this thing out. You actually want to talk to me, huh? I'm ready, Monsignor. Good. I will send for everyone who is to bear witness and have Johanka brought before the court. We'll commence first thing tomorrow morning. One more thing. These are solemn proceedings that demand a certain decorum. I won't tolerate any clanking armor or otherwise inappropriate attire. You will wear this robe. We'll meet in the morning. Hey, take away my threads? Oh, man. Uh. At least I get a robe. <laughs> Nobody else has to wear a robe. What is this place? I, Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. The Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. Hey, hey, don't even try it. And I have found indeed that by her arbitrary word, she's been leading good people astray and encouraging their rebellion against their betters. This does not behove any lay person, and certainly not a woman. Henry of Scarlets has elected to appear here in Johanka's defense, and his wish has been allowed. Father Fabian, will you tell us what Johanka has been proclaiming? Johanka claims that she has received visitations from Our Lady, the Holy Mother of God, who speaks to her in the night. It is an outrageous claim that I hold to be entirely untrue. Either she made everything up, or the devil himself is whispering in her ear. It couldn't be the devil. Nonsense. She made the whole thing up. Father Fabian, stick to the point, if you please. But the fact that she lives at the monastery doesn't mean that she is not misguided. What's more, she is an interloper there herself, who would not even be tolerated if it weren't for Brother Nicodemus. Enough! Do not abase these proceedings with your tavern talk. 
What? Let's proceed then. Is there anything else you want to add, Henry? Monsignor, with your permission, I'd like to draw attention to the work of the great scholar, Matthew of Yanov. On every farm there's some maid who's obliged to let the farmer fuck her. It can't be heresy if the learned masters of universities write such tracts. I must concur with that, Monsignor. What? You too? The whole matter I regard as the intervention of the Holy Spirit. Remarkable. Truly remarkable. How did you come by his work? I went to Ujitz, where there is a Marian church, and there, the parish priest gave me a copy of the text. That's surprising indeed. Especially that you are at all capable of reading such a work and understanding it. You're quite a fountain of unexpected skills, Henry. Thank you, Monsignor. You can rest assured, I will consider your words very carefully. All right. Anything else? Yes, Monsignor. Johanka helped Guter, the tailor's wife. Please hear her testimony. Call this Guter. Guter, you witnessed Johanka's first sermon. What did she speak of? About how we should be virtuous and not sinful. And then you went to see Johanka, didn't you? I did, Monsignor. I, I wanted to ask her for help, and she did. From what I heard, they bring her small gifts, or ask for her advice, or blessing. And that shrine, and the gifts. People brought them to Johanka so she'd help them? I couldn't tell you. But she helped me, without any of that. Father Fabian, didn't you bring her any gifts? I did not, Monsignor. Sacrilege! Oh, I don't know, Monsignor. Begging your pardon, but that's overstating it a bit. Bailiff, didn't you bring her any gifts? Well? Sacrilege! If you'll excuse me, Monsieur, that happens all the time. I'd like you to listen to Adela. Adela, didn't you bring her any gifts? Y yes Sacrilege! But I don't do it anymore. I swear. You swear? Yes. I swear to it all, Monsignor. I'd never lie to you. Good. May God give you the will to maintain your newfound virtue, Adela. All right. You may go. Now I wish to question Katra, the swordsmith's wife. Bring her here. Embarrassing. Have some decency. Katra, you are a respected townswoman who has a good overview of what goes on in Sassau. As you told me earlier... Forgive me, Monsignor, but Katra isn't telling the whole truth. Surely that's obvious. Is that true? I, uh... Silence! But... She's bringing us nothing but trouble. Silence! Monsignor, please permit me to say one more thing. I heard some wise words at a sermon in Scalis, and I think I should share them here. And under every castle wall, there's a wench or two who has a child with the local lord. What you say... is... remarkable. You're right, Henry. Those are wise words. That will be all, Henry. Johanka will now hear my verdict. Johanka, are you aware you're facing very grave accusations? Yes, Monsignor. I am. You stand accused of preaching from ignorance and leading the people away from the protective embrace of Holy Mother Church. If you do not recant, you will suffer grave consequences. Right. Are you prepared to repent? I sincerely repent of my sins of conceit. I confess that I was led by my pride to believe the Virgin Mary chose me to put the world to rights. I repent my sins of pride and ask forgiveness. I will do as you command, Father. 
Her tongue is an instrument of the devil. Sometimes, to save the body of the true church, it is necessary to amputate a gangrenous limb. Fight! Despite her suffering, Johanka remained faithful to her conviction. Brother Nicodemus tried to heal her terrible wounds, but in vain. Her cruel punishment was too much to endure. Matthias never lived to hear of Johanka's fate. Soon afterwards, he succumbed to his sickness. Although it's forbidden to bury a heretic in consecrated ground, we lay Johanka and Matthias to rest, together, side by side, in a place where I hope they will finally find peace. As Brother Nicodemus said, surely God will forgive us for following our hearts. That trial. Thank you for helping me with it. It's what she deserved. I... I feared the worst. And for all my prayers, I never even dared hope for such an outcome. I could hardly believe it at first. You're right. But you must never speak of it. It must remain between the two of us. All right? Of course. Rest assured. Johanka is... She's dead. And it's your fault. That's not true. Yes, it is. You encouraged her in it. You and Nicodemus. It should all have come to an end long ago. It should never have gone as far as it did. Go. Get out of my sight. Leave me to grieve in peace. See you later. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> what the? Could do with a bite to eat. Hey, you! Don't move! Oh. He fell through the floor! Don't you understand this? I should uh. understand it. Ow. Yeah! Alright. You'll get woke, Paul. Alright. What is going on? All right, let's go find his body. What happened? There he is. How did you? Oh, it's finally he's dead. <laughs> he just fell to the floor. <laughs> what was that, Mr. Magic Man? <laughs> he just... <laughs> yep, so I think everything turned out. Well, uh, we don't have to deal with Yanka anymore. We don't have to deal with Matthias anymore. We got rid of all of them. And, um... Good job. And then proof of this is that uh, you can go out here to Ravenna. Or you can go out to this little nice little church. Somebody cleaned up all the bodies. And um, you can go up here. They have a nice little cute grave. Oh, look, the crosses are or they're touching each other. Good job, Henry. What about Yanka? What do we got to say about you? Yanka, forgive me for not doing more for you. I'll miss your courage and your selflessness. May God have mercy on you. Amen. Very nice, Henry. Good job. So, I think that's good enough for now. We kind of, um, did all we really could. 
Oh, for Yonka. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure she's mad at us now. <laughs> but anyways, um, until then, I hope to see you guys around next time. Have a good one. And goodbye. Look at you. You just sit here and, you know, I could pickpocket hey, you in your face. What the fuck? You footpad! Who are you going to run to? Yeah, go find a guard. Yeah, at least you and I could sit down in his chair. Is there anything interesting going on here? I wouldn't say interesting. More like a pain in the ass. There's some bastard making trouble, and when I catch him, he'll end up with his head on the block. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, boy. I hope he wasn't talking about me. Oh, I'm about to say, what are you doing? Somebody help! Jesus, a corpse! <laughs> God, quick! All right, that's an interesting stance. Um, what are you doing? Don't you want to fight here me? Quick. Get over here! Don't get uh, shy. Uh, uh, I'll slaughter you. Uh, oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, I forgot you guys are immortal. Oh, no. I think you got a problem there, buddy. You got a sword and a bow. I mean, <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you doing? I see you there. Oh, God. Bishop, don't don't get involved in this. This is a, this is a secular matter. What what is up with you? Stop it. Put one away. Choose. You live ha happily ever after. <laughs> that's, I guess that's the moral of the story. Oh jeez. I've heard a lot about you, my son. I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, I don't know how long that's gonna be. For God's sake, stop yeah, that! Stop. Have you gone mad? Uh, I never seen something like this happen before. All the crackling sinked into the floor once I added books. What is going on? Uh, I guess this church doesn't like crackling. What about you? Are you immortal too what now? Fuck. <laughs> He's still immortal. 